all right mofos welcome back to another tutorial and this one is probably going to be a real quick video because i just want to show you guys one other tip that you can do whenever you're working with constraints and that is pinning in other words if you ever want more control over exactly where you want an item to appear or how you want to position then you're going to need to do this but first let's go ahead and look at our example so all right in the first tutorial what we did is we took care of that top right button looking good but if we ever take this and we rotate it right you know what that bottom right button even though it appears on our design it's not appearing here and another thing this is just a little side note if you hold down command and you press left and right on your keyboard then this is just a nice little keyboard shortcut to rotate the simulator back and forth so again, no matter what way you rotate it, that bottom right button isn't appearing where we want it to. It's like off here somewhere. And that's because we didn't add any constraints to it yet. So for this button, select it. And I'm going to show you guys a new cool way to use the pin icon or the pin tool. And yeah, you guys cannot see that. So let me, hopefully this all appears. All right, hopefully you guys can see this. All right, so anyways, let me get this out of the way. Now, make sure that you have, like I said, your bottom right button selected and choose this little icon right here. I don't even know what it looks like, like a square with a line behind it and two parallel lines. So anyways, click this and this says add new constraints. These are just some settings for um, your constraints. In other words, your positioning settings. So what are we looking at right here? What's all this mean? This middle white square, it resembles the button. So to the left, right, up and down, this is the positioning of how you want it to appear relative to your screen. Now, right now, it doesn't have any constraints and that's why all these orange lines are dotted. If we ever wanna lock into a constraint, then we can just click those lines and you see how they appear solid? Well, that means give this a fixed position. So if we just left it like this, which we can do for now, this is going to appear zero distance or zero spacing from the right and 20 from the bottom. So again, we have a little bit more spacing on the bottom than the right, but whatever, it'll work. So again, lock it to the right and lock it to the bottom corner of the view, which is pretty much your screen. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but at the very bottom it says add, new, add two constraints. So we can just click that and check it out. Now I can expand this. And whenever we click it, we have those blue guidelines. And also if we looked in this, we can see that we have two new constraints, two new rules. And of course, two of those are for this item and two of them are for this item right there. So now if we go ahead and run this bad boy again, check this out. Our bottom right button is now locked into the bottom right corner, no matter what device we have. And also if we rotate it, then there we go as well. And if you ever want to change the positioning of it, if you're like, hmm, you know what? I kind of want to move this to the left a little bit and maybe down, I don't know. Then you can change like, <clears throat> the value to 10 on the right and like 10 on bottom, but the default values are good for now. So that is how you manually position elements using constraints and also how you can drag the setup general constraints. And there are some other things that you can do as well. Again, all of these have to deal with how items are positioned on your screen, but I'm gonna to talk to you guys in detail about those later on. So in the next example, what I'm gonna do instead of just, you know, showing you guys a bunch of weird demos because look at this you would never make <laughs> like you would never make an ipad app that look like this layout it is disgusting it is ugly there are just random buttons everywhere so in the next example i'm going to be showing you guys how to do a bunch of cool stuff like add background images and we'll talk about some um uh... all right people were texting me and i'm rambling so anyways cool tutorial coming up next i'll see you then